Women and children should be a priority in this society, don't you think? Yeah. But child care, education, social services, they are not this society's main concern. Trillions of U.S. tax dollars flowing toward bombs, corporate bailouts, tax breaks, not for you and I. Did anybody get a tax break today? This week? Last month? No. No, all those corporations got the tax breaks. It's all for the rich, and it shows you that women and children's needs are not a priority. I don't like how these cuts set women back, especially mothers who can't afford child care on the low wages they make, like Tiffany and other women have said today. Let's remember it was the feminist movement that brought a lot of relief to a lot of people because we took to the streets to demand not only equality and abortion rights, but also anti-poverty programs. And it was women of color, especially here in, in Washington State, it was African American women who led those movements. And let me tell you, the things we won made lives a lot easier for mothers and for children, but also for their sisters, for their parents, for their, their partners. Everybody benefits when women and children rise up. So, looks like we need another uplifting feminist movement. Revolution. And revolution. Thank you. Who said that? We need to make the government prioritize women and children. We need pressure from below to fund more anti-poverty programs, child care, educational programs, and for crying out loud, what they're doing with Head Start is criminal. So, it was no mistake that it was the, when the feminist movement's anti-poverty demands also included legalized abortion. And I think we need to remember that. Full reproductive ju justice is what made women's lives a whole lot better as well. All mothers deserve to decide when, where, and how many babies to have. Yeah. Every woman deserves, regardless of age, immigration status, access to abortion, safe and affordable birth control, health care for their children and for their deliveries. No one else should tell women, oh, piece of paper, no one else should tell women what to do with our bodies. No one else should determine our health care decisions. We can do it all by ourselves. Thank you very much. Now, I know there's talk about uh, the budget deficit and, you know, this sequester. We have to sequester this and sequester that and sequester what. But the money is there. We know the money is there. There's no need for any cuts whatsoever. There's all the government of the United States of America has to do is to end all the wars and redirect trillions of dollars from the military industrial co complex and put it towards women, children, and anyone else. It's really a simple concept. Yep. Mother's Day started out as an anti-war holiday. Let's continue this tradition of honoring mothers, calling for the end of the war, stop bombing in Afghanistan and throughout the Middle East. When is this going to happen? Well, I don't think it's going to happen as long as capitalism continues to help the rich get richer, making the rest of humanity suffer. Oh, page stuck together. That's hard. Go get it, Red. <laughs> capitalism will never make women and children a priority. No, they won't. It really needs to come to a grinding halt. We need a system that makes the needs of the majority, working class and poor folks, so we are not begging for all these crumbs. That is why I am a socialist. That is why Radical Women is fights for socialism. We want to live in a humane world that helps all of us flourish. We deserve better, and I believe we can build that better world that does make women and, lives, women and children's lives better. Let's do it.